class. Well, good afternoon. Welcome District 1 residents to our citizen engagement to inform the Douglas County Strategic Plan on today's date, March 25th, 2021. And you will be hosted this evening by District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell and the Douglas Forward 2025 project team. A few simple requests for you before we get started with tonight's activity. One, we'd love for you to turn your videos on. We're going to have real engagement tonight between the citizens and our project team, of course, also with our district commissioner. Uh, we'd ask that you keep your microphones on mute until we call on you to share. And then we will remove that mute function when it is time to share. So you might be asking, um, I've heard a little bit about this, but I'm still not clear how can I share my feedback with Douglas County. So a few simple ways. One, you can go to our online form at www.celebratedouglascounty.com forward slash strategic planning feedback. You can also see that in your chat section. You can click on that link while we're in this meeting tonight and in real time, provide us your feedback, not only directly to us on camera, but also you can provide it online because we really need to have those submissions into our system. You can also, if you have any questions during the next several months, you need to send us an email to our project team. It's douglasforward2025 at co.douglas.ga.us. And then lastly, tonight, you have the great opportunity to participate in our virtual meeting and share directly with the project team and Commissioner Mitchell. Here is an example of the feedback form uh, and what it actually looks like. So when you go to that link in the chat section, if you click there, you will see that you're gonna provide your first and last name, your email address, the district, and whatever your responses might be. And we want you to not only respond just one time, if two weeks later you, you forgot some things you wanted to mention, please send in um, another form. It is okay to give us as much feedback as you would like and as many times as you would like. We're gonna catalog all of this data and it's going to help us inform our strategic plan. One of the major emphasis of this strategic plan is to get citizen feedback. And so we can't do it without you. And so we uh, are asking you to please give us as much feedback as possible to help us with this initiative. So what I'm going to do now is introduce to you District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell. Thank you kindly, sir. And I guess that's my cue, right? <laughs> it is. Okay, got it. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Well, thanks again. And let me first of all, just thank those of you who are, you know, I, I know we, we've got a, a storm here in Douglas County and, and throughout Georgia, <laughs> and there's a lot going on. And for you to take your time out of your busy schedule to come along and, and take part in this is going to be awesomely great. Trust me. And as we all know, as the, your District 1 Commissioner uh, of District 1, there's all sorts of characteristics that's kind of displayed in each one of the districts, all four districts. And that's what's so important that each district has its own characteristics, has its own economic and social needs. And this is where you guys will come in and assist with this. And that's why I want to thank those who've already filled out the forms and been online and followed me on Facebook and, and actually called me and talked to me about the strategic plan and the future of Douglas County. And it's so important that you give that feedback to me and, and the team so we can kind of make sure that what do you see and what's your vision of District 1 that encompasses Douglas County of what we look like in the future. Well, that's, that's, oh, that's, that is like extremely important. Hey guys, if you can keep your keep your mics on mute until we kind of get, get to that to that time with you though. But that's extremely important. So, and we can't see the future of Douglas County yet along District 1 to District 4 without first hearing from you and kind of what is your vision of District 1 and the future of Douglas County. So I want to thank you. 
And I want to thank you for just taking your time out of your busy schedule to take part in, in this strategic plan. And I need your input. So as stated earlier by Linus, that in the event that you see or hear or think of something later on down the line, please go to the link go to my Facebook page and just fill out the form and just kind of engage because this is the time when it's most important to the direction of Douglas County and it starts with you though. So again, thank you. Thank you for your time. I'm gonna step back. I've got my notepad and I'm ready to kind of take some notes. The team is ready to take some notes and we wanna hear from you. So this meeting is all about you. And again, thank you. And thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to just take part in this and this strategic plan and the future of Douglas County. Again, thank you again. And I'll turn it back over to you, Linus and, and Tiffany. Well, good, good evening, everyone. I'm Tiffany Stewart Stanley, the Director of External Affairs. And it's amazing to have so many of you here tonight. Um, Commissioner Mitchell is correct. District 1 is a great district uh, with character and a lot of history. And so it's excited that we have exciting that we have citizens here to provide input so we can find out what we need to do as a county to meet the community's needs, but also plan for the future. So I, like he said, this is about the citizens and we wanna hear from you. What is important? What are the things you wanna see in the future? So I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna start with the professional. I see Ms. Tracy Crooks on here. So we're gonna, we're gonna start with Tracy Crooks who, uh, and we'll let her tell us her five um, or however many things she wanna tell, wants to tell us that's important to her that she wants to see met for the community needs and in the future. Ms. Crooks. Well, I would like to say good afternoon to everyone, Commissioner uh, Mitchell, uh, Ms. Stewart, uh, Mr. Savage, and the other residents of uh, District 1. It is a pleasure and just, you know, just to be considered and to, for those who want to hear the voices of District 1, it is really an honor. Um, I will say this, uh, my responses, of course, you've asked us to um, speak for ourselves, but because I am very active, I believe that this is a more of a survey from others that I hear within our within our district, District One. So I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so my response to question one, uh, I said that I would like to see more development, and then I put in parentheses, techs, uh, excuse me, tech businesses, grocery stores national retailers, healthy eateries in District 1, less liquor stores, tire repair shops. And I'm sure for those who live and work in District 1, you can uh, definitely agree or you know what I'm referring to. Uh, one moment, uh, all of a sudden, there we go. I don't know if you can hear the thunder, but uh, let's see. My second response is consistent street repairs and beautification. The demographics are consistently changing with incomes increasing, but there's a stigma about those who live across the tracks, Strickland Avenue. Um, there is a great need for vigorous branding and marketing campaign, a campaign to change the perception not to wait on the downtown master plan to be completed, which we know is uh, a roadmap of about 10 years. My third response, connectivity for the residents and corporate, more of a preparedness and community engagement, invest in the people and the residents and our neighborhoods. True and measurable partnerships with Google, Microsoft, several others, I just named a couple, because uh, it kind of ties into um, the first response as far as tech or tech opportunities, tech um, employers. Have the companies do more of a meet and greet with the communities. Partner with organizations, not just schools, but city and county government that can tie in with say um, our HOAs, et cetera. Because I, I wanna say this, I live in a 
um, subdivision that was a, an existing subdivision, but I built in the subdivision. And I know people like myself, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I do okay. And um, I had no clue about what side of the track or et cetera. It was just told to me and I was like, oh, really? Now we know there's been some development and we understand about the north side, but I do think it does need to be more of a vigorous and healthy uh, marketing campaign and get these companies more involved and to maybe uh, invest and move their some companies or you know an extension on this side of town and my fourth response because i only did four initially uh and that's what i said more tech and desirable companies to locate in district one advocate for the people to work this is very important advocate for the people to work in the county and not just live in the county so i think it if we, uh, and I know this is nothing new, but I just really feel like this is a great opportunity, even if it's um, some real true focus groups where we can build these type of alliances and put focuses on them um, within the strategic plan. I think that we can see some movement. These, um, you think about a SWOT analysis and you think about some of these weaknesses and opportunities, we can change these to strengths and, uh, eliminate some of these things that I think could be easily done. We don't have to wait until someone says, you know what, in 10 years, it'll look like this. Well, in 10 years, people are going to get older. Some people will opt to, to move other places and um, because people have choices. So that's what I have thus far. So thank you for the opportunity to share what I've um, presented. Well, that was amazing. Thank you so much, Ms. Tracy Crooks. I really appreciate your input. And I know Commissioner Mitchell and the team really does appreciate everything that you have put into it. That was a lot of thought. Thank you so much. And so next we'll move to our next citizen. I, we will go to, is it Lolak? Lolak? Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. You are, you are, you are forgiven. It's, it's Lawler. My, my signing name here at the office is oh, L-O-L-L-A-C, but you're right. It's, it's, it's Lawler, uh, Charles Lawler. Thank you so much for that. Um, and I'll begin my conversation with a lot of, um, a lot of similarities to Miss Crooks. She's just spot on and you're exactly right, Tiffany, just to hear her. And she knocked out two of my four that I had written down. Just the importance of economic development uh, that fields healthy and smart growth for our citizens and minimizes gateway substance stores that are just, nah, they negatively impact our, our citizens long-term. So I'm certainly in agreement with that. And also creating that livable, workable, playable um, community space, right, for, Douglas County and for the our first our, for our district there our third district there or I'm sorry our first district that's so important because we want that community where we can work there play there and live there and prosper there and then finally creating a better community and corporate um, synergy that's very important uh, specifically for the people in the community for employment and for better economic prosperity and building these alliances between our corporate face and our community base um, we have a higher concentration percentage wise of single parent moms that are head of households economically and when it comes to a lot of men like myself um, or men that look like me specifically in, in that in our area we need more economic opportunity um, and prosperity so how do we create that synergy right how do we bring those kind, that kind of a, a corporate uh, collaboration of tools and resources so I think Ms. Crooks is spot on but I, I my one point that I want to add is for me, which is very important, is we have an interesting opportunity in Douglas County and Douglasville. If you look at our population, we all on the phone know that we are a majority uh, minority county, which is outstanding. And a lot of the things that our kids are looking at, because I'm, I'm a big education guy. Um, some of you might know that, I, but I'm the senior pastor there at Trinity um, at New Horizon, right there at the corner of the new Highway 92 in Malone Street, just down the street from Stewart Middle School. And 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 we we established uh, the 100. Mr. Lawler, I think he's frozen. I think we may have lost him. Okay, let's see. There's a storm around here. I don't know if you oh, got that's it. right. I forgot. Okay. But yeah. 
maybe he'll come back in. I guess Tiffany. So. Okay, Commissioner Mitchell, would you like for me to move to the next person and come back? I thank you. Yes, that's fine. Okay, that's okay. thank okay. you. All right, so we will give Mr. Lawler an opportunity to come back in. So we will move to our next citizen, Miss Yolanda. And unmute. Hi there. Sorry about that. How are you guys? Okay, what I had on my list, um, um, it has been mentioned, um, improvement to, to side roads. Yeah, I see that um, uh, Groover's Lake, uh, not Groover's Lake, Lee Road was done and, and um, Sweetwater Road was done, but side roads aren't getting done, specifically to name one. Um, Vulcan. And um, one of my other uh, concerns is that there should be businesses on Thornton Road other than fast food places. I think we, we need entertainment in Douglas County. There's nowhere, there's no reason for anybody to come to Douglas County and stay here for a while. And um, and I also had on my list beautification that was touched on um, Thorn Road and the surrounding areas. Because I do know there's a lot of the money seems to go to Douglasville. And um, I think public transportation should be approved, improved upon. And I believe there should be sidewalks. I think there needs to be um, um, sidewalks so that Douglas County is conducive to living a healthy lifestyle. And, um, and I also noticed when I moved to Douglas County, I've been here for 16 years now, but there wasn't much child entertainment for my son. And um, I think that's about all I had that hasn't been mentioned already. Well, thank you. And, and you can tell you guys put a lot of thought into this and that's what we wanted. We wanted you citizens to give that input and where you can tell that, that you've been thinking about it. So we really appreciate, appreciate that. And if you haven't, please make sure to submit your response online um, and we will give you the information again for that. But we will go back to Mr. Lawler who has rejoined us. He had issues due to the storm. So we will give him an opportunity to finish up. Yeah, let me try to go quickly. So um, the on the heels of my conversation was I, I'd like for us to really focus on education of our young adults specifically in our district. So what that means um, when a child grows up, specifically when I grew up and, and I wanted to be a rapper or I wanted to go into coding or I wanted to go into these type of entertainment venues, it was never seen as something legitimate. And I think the opportunity for us to create a tutorial program or some kind of educational focus that opens that up a little bit and says, hey, we can show you the academic side of coding, the academic side of production, the academic side of videography, so that we can actually help to train our children into that next level. I call it 21st century occupational um, opportunity that can open up another stream or another opportunity for our kids. We're surrounded by entertainers. We're surrounded with people in our community like Tyler Perry, Pharrell, T.I., and others, that if we can create the right conversation synergy, we can create the first of its kind in terms of a multicultural arts center that it focuses on just that. And that's one thing that we're doing there at Trinity and some partnerships, which is a separate conversation. But how do we essentially bring a legitimate conversation or legitimize in conversation um, occupational specialties like coding, right? Like um, videography, right? Like um, production uh, recording, because I'm tired of our kids because they're going, I'm tired of our kids having to feel like the only way to get a legitimate opportunity in the rap or an opportunity into in entertainment is to go by way of the jail cell or the prison system or be bad boys, whatever the case may be. When there's others out there like J. Cole and so many others that have been able to do this legitimately and take an intellectual look and spin on it, and they're extremely successful. So how do we look at education specifically on our side of the train tracks and say, hey, kids, here's an opportunity. Let's create this partnership with middle schools and high schools, and, and let's legitimize what you want to do. You want to go into entertainment, you can go into entertainment. You want to go into coding, you can go into coding. And I'll close with this example. Our 
Jewish brothers and sisters, they they grab what they could grab and they move with it. You can't find a news venue. You can't find a movie venue in Hollywood. You can't find a publication that at the center of that is not owned and controlled by the Jewish population relation, which I think is brilliant because they took what America gave them and they added to it and they, 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 they took it over. And we have the same opportunity in the 21st century. They give us entertainment. They give us um, they give us athletics. We look at that and say, that's not really an occupation. Look at doctors, lawyers, nothing wrong with those occupations. But I want to tell our children, hey, this is legitimate as your desire as well as other desires. These are the things that we can do. So how do we create that educational conversation to help build our youth up? I'll close with that. Uh, thank you. You guys are giving us a really good thought provoking ideas. And so this has been amazing. I just want to say, uh, Ms. Shalanda, Mr. Lawler and Ms. Crooks, you guys have, have done a great job. Um, and so we want you to share this information with your friends. Please make sure they go to celebratedouglas.county.com. Um, and fill out the survey because we want to get input from more citizens from District 1 um, and all the other districts in the county. So if you have any friends or families who live in Douglas County, please share this information with them. So before I turn it back over to Commissioner Mitchell, does any of our participants have any final thoughts that they want to share? All right, looks like we said it all. So Commissioner Mitchell, congratulations. You had a great group here, gave some great insights. So I'll turn it back over to you to close us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tiffany. I really appreciate that. Now, I'm just, you know, I was taking some notes as we was going along, I, that's kind of what we do here. And I know the team was doing a whole lot. As we stated though, what's important here is that we've definitely got to make sure we get the word out because this is the time to shape, create, and give us a clear direction, a definitive direction of how we want to see and how, what we want to see our community look like we tend to come on board when it's a little too late in the game when the design is already done. Here's our chance to create the design. We can make the mold and, and we can break the mold and cre recreate the mold. But here's some things I was just listening to what I heard. I heard about, I heard a lot about, you know, economic partnerships and development. I, I heard streets and roads, uh, education, uh, livable uh, working environment. So I think these are some key components as to what we envision our community our community look like. And if we can kind of do this, and it starts with us, is to, to take uh, ownership of this design of, of this five and six and 20 year plan and engage in it. Because if we don't, here we will be talking 15 and 20 years later about, you know, I remember Douglas County was like this, but I don't know where they end up, you know, they ended up in Atlanta trying to rap <laughs> and never got there. It's important that we really take ownership of this. And we've got to make sure our community know that this is the chance to kind of talk to your commissioners, talk to your political leaders, uh, engage with the city. Because for, for, for those of you who don't know, 80%, uh, almost 70 to 80% of my district is encompasses the city of Douglasville. So that's important that I have lots and lots of conversation with those council members and the mayor and all those guys, because what we're designing now needs to be a part of what their future looks like in their master plan. So I need you guys help. I need you guys to get out and I need you guys to continue to add to this list. This list should be yay long uh, because I know from those in which I, I know I talked to you, Tracy and, and, and Pastor, and I, I talk to you guys on an ongoing basis. So I know there's a whole lot more there and it'll come along. We got a little time here. We, we've got several meetings that's gonna be going along and I want you guys to take part in this here, but we gotta make sure that the rest of our community take part in this and not come in on the tail end when we've already created our, when we've already created our community. So thank you guys again. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, I, I look forward to the next and ongoing meeting. So when we get there, we can all get there together and we'll all have a, a, the sidewalks to walk on and the, the economic development in our community and the development that we would like to see. So thank you again. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, Linus, I don't know if you've got any closing other remarks, but I just wanna say thank you from District 1 and your commissioner. I really truly appreciate you guys taking out your time on this stormy uh, afternoon evening. So, <laughs> cause it's a little ugly out there, but, but thank you again. So I appreciate it and, and back to you guys. Thank you again. All right. Well, thank you all so much for participating and we look forward to you participating in the future and I hope everyone has a great night. Thank you.